Meta's introduction to front-end development. It's a popular course, overwhelmingly positive reviews, over 200,000 enrolled. Looks like a great choice, right? But how good is it really? My name is Daniel and today we will talk about things like course structure and its quality, how long it takes to complete it, pricing and certification. You will also learn if it can help you land a job and we will look at some course reviews as well. As usually I will talk about the courses pros and cons and offer my own opinion on its general usefulness. I will also leave all course related links in the description. So will this course help you learn all you need to know about front-end development. Let's find out! Course Overview Technology keeps changing, guys. There is no way around that. More and more people are talking about the future of front-end development. Some say it might stagnate. Others think it will still be useful for making websites and apps. But the reality is the number of front-end developer jobs is expected to increase at least by 23% for the next 10 years. Today a front-end developer in the United States can earn six-figure salaries, but you cannot become a well-paid pro right off the bat. There must be a place to start, right? And that's exactly what this course by Meta offers. What is this course about? So let's dive into it. What is it all about? Meta's introduction to front-end development is a great starting point for aspiring web developers. From what I have seen so far, it offers insight into daily tasks of web developers. It also provides a basic grasp of the essential technologies driving the Internet. It gives you a solid idea about the methods to make efficient and maintainable websites or apps. Some of the things you will learn about are web development tools like HTML and CSS, popular UI frameworks like Bootstrap and React. The great thing about it is that the course gives you a chance to test your knowledge in practice at every step of the way. The entire curriculum looks like it's specifically designed to teach you how to create engaging and interactive user interfaces. Who is the course for? Now you might be asking yourself, will it be good for me? And here is what I can say about that. This is the first course in the series of 9 courses by Meta. All this course is series called Meta Frontend Developer Professional Certificate. I am also going to make a video about this certificate on this channel. So stay tuned. So as I say, it's a good place to start. There is no strict scheduling, so you can take it at your own pace. The course is designed for complete beginners. That is no prior experience as a web developer is required. Personally, I would still get some basic knowledge about front-end development before getting into it. It might help you glide through the course easier. However, I don't think it's super necessary. That's not necessary. Because it touches on all the basics pretty well. And this is great. Course structure. This course consists of four modules. Get started with web development, introduction to HTML and CSS, UI frameworks, and end of course graded assessment. This module rounds up everything you have learned and lets you test the theory in practice. A great way to reinforce your knowledge and make sure it stays in your memory going forward. So in my opinion it's a very well structured course that gives you all the basic information step by step. And I like that they offer practical tasks at the end of every module. This really helps you memorize what you have learned. How long does it take? Guys, before I continue, please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps my small channel to grow. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss my new videos. All in all, the course creators expect you to spend about 15 hours on it. And honestly, I don't think it will take you longer. Unless you really struggle with basic concepts of front-end development. There is nothing super complex here. And if you follow the course step by step, you should have no trouble completing it in 12-15 hours. Pricing and certification. This course isn't free. Since it posted on Coursera, you will have to pay a membership fee. There is a free trial option where you can spend 7 days trying the course free of charge. 
In my opinion, it's a great way to take a look at the course and decide if you want to pay for the Flatmore membership once the trial period ends. The separate course doesn't offer any kind of certification. And you can only get your certificate once you have completed all 9 courses that make up the Meta Frontend Developer Professional Certificate series. Will the course help you land a job? Now the question many of us ask when we see a course like this. Will it help me get the professional skills required to get a job? And in this case, my answer is no. Uh, no, not really. Alright, no, not because this course is bad. You should consider this course as a very basic introduction, a small step on your way to learn about web development. It's very simple, it's very basic, and it's designed to give you a general idea of what front-end development is. Meta's introduction to front-end development on Coursera is definitely a basic course for complete beginners that doesn't require any prior knowledge. This is great for someone who has little to no idea about what web development is. Another great thing about this course – there are useful things to help you all the way. You can do it online whether you want and you don't need to rush or worry about finishing it by a certain time. What I also liked is the practical tasks they offer at every step of the way and the final assessment module that helps you memorize everything you have learned and it's especially valuable for complete newbies. I really don't have a lot of bad things to say about this course. It does exactly what it's supposed to, gives a beginner-friendly introduction to front-end development. In my opinion, the simplicity of the course can be an advantage and disadvantage at the same time. Depends on the perspective. As I said, it's great for newbies, but will be very boring to those who are already familiar with web development basics. And it looks like the students who tried this course agree with me on that. Students ratings and reviews. When it comes to student feedback, it's mostly positive. The course has over 7000 reviews with a general rating of 4.8 out of 5, which is actually pretty impressive. For example, this 5-star review says this is very well-structured and well-informed course, especially if you are new to web development. This next reviewer gave the course 4 stars saying, in this course I gained useful insights into the basics of front-end development, especially how the internet works. I know this course isn't too deep into HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but it's too good for anyone who wants to understand the first fundamental step to being a front-end developer. By the way, the same person also noted that some English subtitles in the video can be out of scenes and it can be distracting. Moreover, some people noted this course is too basic for their taste. Next person says more theory than actual learning. And this one claims extremely basic stuff. The course served more like an overview of what you need to learn than a real course. So if you already have some basic web development knowledge, it might be too simplistic for you. On the other hand, if you are a complete newbie, it might be a great start. However, if you want more advanced web development courses, you can check out other course reviews on this channel that can help you reach the professional level required to get a job. Guys, I left all the links related in the course in the description. Also, if you want me to review other programming courses, let me know about it in the comments. Think about it until next time.